Design Huddle. We got an interesting episode. I was telling Mustafa I had this cool idea. I've been my, my, my wife and I have been doing a lot of home design. You know, it was COVID pandemic. We were all sitting at home looking at our houses. A lot of people naturally were like wanting to upgrade. We were one of those families. We did a ton of upgrades. So my two worlds are colliding. I am like, you know, a UX designer by profession. I like interior home design as a hobby. So what I found was interesting is I find a lot of parallels between home trend designs and like web design. And a lot of people like the metaphor of when you build a website, it's similar to building a house, you know, like HTML is the structure, CSS is like the walls and the design. You get the metaphor, everyone's heard it before. So we're gonna kind of take some of the top design trends of 2021, and then we're just gonna see how it relates to web design. So we'll start with the first one, and then I'll get, you know, Mustafa's take as well. So one of the top trends right now is brightening up spaces. No surprise, millennials love, love the whites, you know, painting walls white to bring in natural light. This is really no surprise. This also means like maximizing natural light makes it feel more homey and welcoming. So that's the interior design trend. When I hear that interior design trend, the first thing I think of is like Apple's website. I think of like a massive amount of white space, very visual, high quality windows of products that we're looking into that are very vibrant and welcoming. So um, if I was to pick one company or example that matches this interior design trend, I think Apple. Is there any, any sites that you think, Mustafa, re reflect this physical idea of having a lot of natural light white space to draw people to products or, or services? I think Ikea probably. I mean, as soon as you start talking, the thing is, yeah. when you say start talking about interior design, the first one's Ikea, and we've mentioned Ikea as being like one of those magical companies, yeah. which they're, a, they're, a, they're a, a design company through and through, right? Um, and everything about their, their design culture is so strong and it's just such a well-made service design company, um, like technology, whatever. So IKEA's white spaces is great. The thing is, it's like, what, this is more of a bias of me and I've noticed in designs I've done recently where people, the feedback I always get in my design is, Mustafa, can you make things slightly smaller? Cause I make things so big. <laughs> Cause I, white space, I just think, nah, let's just fill it all. Um, <laughs> uh, so, 